subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, today we have with us Professor Dr. Anupam Narula. He is a professor, trainer and consultant in consumer behavior, service marketing, international marketing, digital innovation strategy, branding strategy and higher education at MIT University, Uttar Pradesh, Noida campus, India. He is also spearheading the alumni relations of MIT University, Noida, Lucknow, Greater Noida and Taskin campuses as deputy director of alumni relations. Before this, he served as faculty of marketing, area chair marketing and professor in charge of alumni relations at Poe School of Management, New Delhi. A consistent first class holder, he has done a PhD in economics, PGDM in marketing, silver medalist and MA in economics. He is an IVEY business school in Ontario, Canada trained faculty in case of teaching and writing techniques. He has a total professional experience of more than 27 years in teaching, training, research and consulting. He has presented 22 plus research papers at various reputed international and national conferences at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, IIM Ahmedabad, IIM Indore, ISB Hyderabad, Great Lakes Chennai, IIT Delhi. We welcome you to the expert interview series sir and hope we will have good time together. Thank you so much, uh, Ananta, for inviting me on this platform and giving me this opportunity to interact with all the education stakeholders, those who are listening to me. And thanks a lot to your whole team for contacting me and inviting me. Uh, it has been very nice enriching academic journey, Ananta so far and working with premier business schools in India and going to 20 plus countries abroad also, which has given me a lot more exposure and learnings. I started my professional journey after completing my two postgraduates degrees in sales field uh, as a sales officer long back. And then the transition happened towards the academic field in 1998. Since then, I have been associated with the higher education sector as an educator, trainer and consultant in the area of marketing. The desire to upskill led me to pursue and complete my PhD in 2008, which helped me with new learnings and gave a boost to my career in education field. When I look back, I have groomed what I see is more than 8000 plus students in my career till now, including corporates, government employees in, and of course, many of the stakeholders in education career. I work with almost every premier B schools and university in Delhi NCR region in my 27 years of experience, either as faculty, trainer, consultant, or an academic expert on the area advisory boards or as PhD expert. I'll say that I've taken calculated risks in my career, coming out of my comfort zone every time and exploring new opportunities in the market for my professional growth. I firmly believe that opportunities don't happen. You have to create them and must be responsible enough to make the best use of them. The only constant in life is change, I believe, and one must be agile enough to move with times. Then only the people become successful in life and this ever changing higher education sector I'll say that the, this higher education sector demands constant upscaling to cope with, with this fast changing market trends, which, which we are seeing now. And I ensure that constant learning through professional networking with all stakeholders has become very essential for every individual who is working into this uh, education sector, especially you have to license network with corporates, government bodies, accreditation agencies and bodies and almonai who tell us uh, which is which we call it a give and take process in this scenario because we are experts into academics and they are experts into corporates and market trends so it is a win-win situation for both of us when all these stakeholders join hand together into this sector which which gives a boost to everybody into their professional career so my motto is that 
one one has to go with times and for that one has to be agile in today's world to move with time uh see the trends have changed a lot uh, specifically i'll say in the post covid era because now everybody will talk about in the future pre covid and the post covid because the post covid has led to lot more changes lot more changes in the every sector of uh, in which either you call it in industry or education sector the trends of working have changed the hybrid culture has come up and there are several reasons which contribute to the growth of gig economy also uh, i'll say that it is a win win situation for workers as well as for employers for going towards gig work and millennials seems to prefer freelancing which we call it gig over full time employment due to its flexibility and independence and the new generation millennials which are coming out after education they are preferring to do free uh, freelancing more over doing a full time jobs it has created a better opportunities for finding more work across the globe and made work more adaptable to the changing needs and demands for flexible lifestyles gigs which we call it freelancers can make lifestyle choices that a conventional job would not allow them they can choose when and where to work at what time to work and determine how much they will charge for their services for working so it is giving freedom to them it is giving flexibility to them it is giving agility to them uh, through a which we call it a, a gig being a gig worker so indians need uh, specifically in developing economies i say that like india which needs supplemental income due to the increasing cost of living growing aspirations of millennials and students and changing mindset of women engaged in home making so companies benefit from having a flexible work workforce they are spending less on training and recruitment of people by hiring gig workers they need not pay any medical coverage to them can more easily replace their workforce if needed when as per their contractual jobs or their projects so contracted workers are more cost effective according to me for businesses and employers and are benefiting from a wide range of applicable pool which is uh, available in india and emerging countries to choose from and also they don't necessarily need to hire one based on proximity also because of hybrid environment which has come and which is giving lot more benefits the higher education institutions i'll say must prepare the alpha generation which is coming up now uh, into the workforce to succeed in the future through in the gig economy to be self employed i say that higher education institutions till now have been training people uh, not not for self employment not to become entrepreneurs but now the the next era the era which is called industry 5.0 which will say is a industry for entrepreneurship is for self self employed people is for gig workers and to succeed in this the higher education institution should pay attention to this new generation which is coming up into education and that is alpha generation to successfully run a new venture they must train these individuals because what each of gen alpha will do for at least some part of their careers in the next 5 to 10 years is independent work higher education must teach them this gen alpha short term practice oriented courses to work independently with adaptability and resilience skills for uncertain times which we have recently seen one and a half years back and social and emotional skills also the higher education institutions have to train them because all these three skills which are very important in today's scenario is which we call it iq uh, intelligent quotient eq emotional quotient and sq is also becoming very important nowadays and that is social quotient in this new disruptive world so gen alpha is required to be trained to to upskill to get trained into all these three which we call it iq eq and sq for for the gig jobs of tomorrow and not just the traditional jobs which we are seeing from last many years so this is a new trend which i'll say for which the higher education institutions 
must equip themselves and should train according to the the market trends which we are going to see in next 10 years see the word which uh, i have used in my many articles also is that word of mouth is more of a traditional marketing and word of mouth is more going towards digital trends of marketing so word of mouth i want to mean by that it is more of a digital trends the world is changing and the, and the tar, it is very much changing and the technology is taking the lead today everything is going digital you must be seeing uh, we are also interacting digitally and which which has given us lot more benefits also and which is which means that companies are also going online to market their products and services and to survive these challenges of word of mouth that is digital marketing brands needs to keep up with the latest trends these days social media is the new arena of digital marketing and as 4 billion people are using social media each month each month i'll say 4 billion people and 50% of this total global population is which is using social media so moreover i'll say it is growing every day 1 million people are trying social media for the first time and that is how the growth in social media we are seeing it and this media cannot be neglected either by companies or by higher education institutions so social media has become so ingrained in the way people communicate and live it will be challenging for the people to not use social media in one way or the another that what i want to mean is that it has become a part of our lives and if any company or social uh, or education institutions are not coming on to social media they are not able to tap while i say gen alpha and millennials which is a huge which you call it uh, population in india and in emerging markets so i'll say an effective social media strategy which organizations should design requires to identify the right target audience first and then to research where this audience hangs out online and what messages they resonate on, on this social media so the three things which has become very important for social media strategy development is to identify the right target audience second is to research where this audience are uh, engage themselves engagement of this audience hangs online what i want to say and what message will will they are willing to uh, absorb or they are willing to resonate with others so according to that the three things the social media strategy has to be designed and social media is now a real time immediate value added information and will take the business to new levels faster than ever for companies so each social media site has to have a different user demographics which has a different user demographics and psychographics and the content must be reshaped to match perfectly with the platform on which it will be posted and that is what i have used in my article which has come in business world uh, of 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 segmenting the social media audience according to the type of social media whether it is facebook whether it is youtube whether it is twitter instagram linkedin or any other social media snapchat so according to that that the segmenting has to be done according to that the profiling demographic and psychographic profiling has to be done and marketers should choose the social media according to the demographics psychographics of the audience which uh, which they are seeing on a particular social media who are willing to pursue freshers specifically those who wish to pursue a career in marketing uh, i i according to my experience of so many years 27 years i say that in today's uh, scenario the what is very important is networking networking is your net worth in the modern marketing industry which everybody should understand and networking with your which i call it with your same segmented peer groups so my advice to all freshers is to pay special attention to your behavioral and soft skills because uh, technical skills and technology can be taught to you but behavioral and soft skills 
are very important in pursuing a career in marketing. So technical knowledge and and uh, which you call it uh, technical aspects of which can be gained at any point of time. And companies also train you for six months or seven months when they recruit you according to what actual knowledge they want to make you to learn what softwares they want you to make you to learn but what you should have when you enter into a marketing industry which is prerequisite is your behavioral soft skills what by behavioral and soft skills i want to say is you should uh, be able to well speak you should be empathetic with customers or with whomsoever you are interacting you should be kind towards your audience or customers which goes a long way in defining your organizational's customer life cycle value and your personal branding also as a marketing professional. So this is the traits which you should possess or you should learn in your life to become successful marketer. The five most important skills which, which uh, you have asked according to me in this digital era and digital marketing, I'll say that the very important skills which is existing from traditional marketing long back is creativity and communication, which has to be there. If you want to enter into a line of marketing, you have to be creative. You must have a very strong communication skills. When I'm saying communication, I want to mean written verbal and written both skills and this this is required from traditional marketing onwards to digital marketing era. But in digital marketing era, now in the post COVID era, I'll say that the five most important skills. Number one, I'll say is creativity and problem solving, which is very important. If you are creative and you are able to solve the problems of any organization, of any customer, uh, who is your a customer of your organization, then only your organization or your product or a service will succeed so the first skill which you have to get trained i not say that it can people can be trained into that is creativity and problem solving second as i said earlier is communication skills which is very important verbal and written both if you want to enter into the line of marketing third is interpersonal skills how you interact with your colleagues how you interact with your juniors, how you interact with your boss, how you interact in the horizontal line of communication or in the vertical line of communication, how you are able to manage teams. This is very important. And if your interpersonal skills are strong, you can get success very easily and very early in your life. So this is a third skill, which I'll say very important in marketing. Fourth, which is become very important after COVID is that one has to be very agile and adaptable. Whichever organization anybody joins or whichever company anybody wants to work, he has to be agile, he has to be adaptable according to the culture of that organization. If you are able to mix up with people easily, if you are able to adapt easily, you will succeed. And last, I'll say the fifth one is leadership skills. If you want to rise to higher ladders into any organizations, you have to possess leadership skills. Then only you will be able to succeed and rise in your career. One has to be agile and one has to be adaptable in today's scenario to succeed. And the only thing which is constant is change where I started from. And my quotation, which I want to end with that is also same. I'll say that. If we change with change, we will survive. If we anticipate change, we will succeed. But if we can influence change, we will excel. So that is what I will say that you have to be agile and adaptable with change. You will only survive. But if you want to succeed in your life, try to anticipate what will happen in the future. What changes may happen in the future. And if you want to excel into your life, Try to influence those changes in your favor, in the favor of your company or in the favor of your professional life. And if you are able to influence that change in your favor, you will absolutely excel in your life.
subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us.